Well, a very good morning to everyone. So welcome back to my or, uh, our video lessons again, <clears throat> where today we are going to enter a brand new chapter, which is uh, chapter 6A, Chemical Equilibrium. Okay, so if you like this video, please help me to click a like. And if you want to receive further notifications, so do subscribe and click the notification buttons for further information, okay? So with the next session, let's begin our lesson today. So we are going to start off with the objective questions as usual. So uh, let's have a look at the questions. Now, uh, question number one sounds like this. All of the following statements about chemical equilibrium are to accept. So at equilibrium, reactant and product concentration show no further change with time, which is true. So a true chemical equilibrium can only be attained from the reactant from the, uh, from the reactant in the equation, which is also true, uh, which is wrong. Okay, so equilibrium forward reaction rate is equal to the reverse reaction rate, which is true. Okay, so uh, we define the dynamic equilibrium as uh, when the system is, uh, when the reaction is ongoing, okay, the, the con concentration of the reactant and products uh, remain constant at the rate of forward reaction equals to the rate of backward reaction. So that is how we define a chemical equilibrium. So uh, C is true. And finally, D, the same equilibrium state can attain starting either from the reactant or product side because it is reversible reactions. So it can be uh, occurring from which side that we like. So in here, the answer which is incorrect is B. Okay, so that is for question number one. As for question number two, which of the following statements are correct in regard to the equilibrium constant Kc and Kp for a reversible reaction? Now, number one, both of the values are the same under the same total number of gas at the both sides of chemical equilibrium. Yes, huh? by using the expression, Kp is equals to Kc dot, uh, time Rt delta n. Therefore, if delta n is equals to zero, uh, Kp will be equals to Kc. So both are constant under the same temperature and pressure, which is also true. Both can only change when there is a change in temperature. Okay, so um, both changes with concentration, which is not true. <clears throat> and finally, both constant remain unchanged if a noble gas is added to the system under a constant pressure. However, um, in here, when the uh, constant pressure, uh, as we mentioned already, changes of concentration and pressure will not change the equilibrium constants in here. So in here is one true, two and true, four is also true. So the answer is boy B. So number three, graph below shows the variations of concentration of product with pressure. So this is uh, how it changes. When the following equilibrium could give the graph of the above. So you see, you have to focus on Y. So based on the equations in here, all Y are product. So Y increase as pressure increase. Do you notice that? So when Y increase as pressure increase, that means equilibrium shift to the right as pressure increase. Therefore, right side must have less total mole of gas. Right side must have less total mole of gas. Because according to the Lee-Chatelier principle, if uh, pressure of the gas decreases, equilibrium will shift the direction with more mole of gas, therefore increase back the pressure. So uh, that is why equilibrium shift to the direction of the right, which makes the right side must have less total mole of gas. So if you look carefully, A, uh, is correct because Y has a two, a right product has two gas, a reactant has three gas, and then for B is wrong because right side has three gas, left side has two gas, C is also wrong because both sides has the same number of gas, and then for D there is a very tricky part because P is solid in here, so solid is not considered in the chemical equilibrium, especially for uh, pressure. So uh, D is incorrect. So the best answer in here is A. As for number four, for the reaction 2SO2 plus O2 gives 2SO3, calculate the Kp for the same temperature. So uh, in here, you have to use Kp equals to Kc RT delta N. So Kp is equals to um, 13 times this. Uh, <coughs> Zero point zero eight two one times nine hundred Kelvin, uh, power of two minus three. So if you press your calculator, you get your Kp is equals to zero point one seven six atmosphere. So the answer is four B. Number five, partial pressure of the sulfur dioxide, oxygen, and sulfur trioxide for the reactions are X, Y, and Z. If the partial pressure of each gas increased by twice under the constant temperature, what is the expression of the equilibrium constant? This one is also pretty tricky in time because uh, as we already mentioned previously, that changes of the pressure will not change the Kp of the system. So therefore, 
the KP will also remain the same, which is Z square over X square times Y square. Okay, so this is the expression of the uh, KP in here. So that is for question number five. And then for question number six, given a pair of the reaction shows the equilibrium constant where PCL plus CL2 give PCL5 equals to K1, 2NO plus CL2 give 2NOCL equals to K2, what is the equilibrium constant of PCL5 plus 2NO2, 2NO give PCL3 plus 2NOCL? So in here, you have to manipulate the equations by first expressing each of the K respectively. So therefore, if you want to get the expression in here, so you have to reverse this equation, K1 equation, so that PCL5 will be the reactant. And then uh, in the second equation here, it will remain unchanged, okay? So it's basically K2 over K1, okay? So the answer is C. Number seven, for the chemical reaction N2 plus 3H2 give 2 NH3, four mole of ammonia were placed in 5.00 decimeter cube container and allows to establish equilibrium. Which situation below the two is, uh, is true at equilibrium? So in here, you have to calculate a bit. So N2 plus 3H2 give 2 NH3. So initial concentration, 0, 0, 4.0, point, uh, divided by 5.0 equals to 0 0.8. So in, because in here, because initially you don't have nitrogen and hydrogen, so uh, you only have ammonia. So ammonia minus by 2x, uh, nitrogen and hydrogen increase by x and 3x respectively. So Kc, which is equals to 4.20 times 10 power of 2, equals to 0 .80, uh, 0 0.8 minus 2x squared uh, divided by x plus 3x cubed. So uh, we'll get a 0 0.069. Uh, sorry for the wrong expression in here. Uh, it's supposed to be like this. Okay, so um, now when you press your calculator, uh, you get a uh, concentration of the N2 is equal to 0 0.069, concentration of H2 is 0 0.127, and ammonia is 0 0.6782. Therefore, ammonia is greater than hydrogen. So the answer is B. Okay, so in here you have to do a little bit of calculation. You know, the calculation can be quite complicated in here, yeah? Okay, so uh, this is for number seven. And then for number eight, in a process, chemical process, gaseous ZO2, Z2O is produced according to the following equation. So 2Z2 plus O2 give 2Z2O, the other H is equals to positive 63 kilojoule. Which of the following best condition yield the highest yield of the product at equilibrium? So you want to cause equilibrium shift to the right at endothermic process. And then do note that you have a lesser total mole of gas at the right side. So you must have high pressure then you must have high temperature. Even without catalyst, it doesn't matter because you want highest yield, okay? So uh, in here, the best answer will be donkey D, okay? Okay, for number nine, concentration of pure solid and pure liquid is left out of the expression of the equilibrium constant. Why? Because concentration of solid and liquid is too large and little dissociation of solid and liquid do not affect the concentration much, therefore remain constant. Huh? So uh, that is the reason why pure solid and pure liquid is not considered when expressing equilibrium constant. Number 10, the equilibrium constant Kp for the decomposition of calcium carbonate is 1.6 times 10 power negative 23 atmosphere at 298 Kelvin and 6.3 times 10 power negative 11 atmosphere at 500 Kelvin. Which of the following statement is true about the decomposition? Now, if you look carefully, uh, at 298 is times 10 power negative 23, at 500 Kelvin is times 10 power negative 11. So temperature increase, the Kp increase. So this will equally be, uh, this will means that the enthalpy change of the reaction is an exothermic uh, endothermic process. Sorry, is an endothermic process because um, the temperature increase will cause the equilibrium constant to uh, increase. That is the properties of uh, endothermic reactions. Okay, so in here. Uh, we are looking for true so for what reaction endothermy is true. Okay, so uh, Kp of the depend on the mass of calcium carbonate, which is not true because it is solid. Rate of forward reaction decrease as the temperature increase, which is not true. And then the activation energy of the forward reaction increase as the temperature increase. So activation energy has nothing to do with the rate constant. Huh? So the answer in here is A, okay? Okay, then we have number 11. 
the equi uh, equilibrium reaction between x and y can be represented by the equation 2x plus y give 2z. If 1.6 mole of x and 1.0 mole of y are placed in the same container under two decimeter cube of vessel and left to react equilibrium at t degrees Celsius, it is found that concentration of equilibrium z is 0 0.45 mole decimeter cube. What is the value of the Kc in the reaction at t degrees Celsius? So you have to do a little bit calculation. So uh, expressing 2x plus y give 2z, initially you have 1.6 divided by 2, 1.0 divided by 2, and z is 0. So uh, in here, you have to be careful because stoichiometrically, 2x plus 1y give 2z. So if you minus 0 0.45, so y will be 0 0.45 divided by 2, and then the amount of z form will be 0 0.45. So at equilibrium, x remain will be 0 0.35, Y remain will be 0 0.275 and Z remain will be 0 0.45. So substitute inside your KC. So you get 0 0.45 square divided by 0 0.35 square multiplied by 0 0.275, you get 6.0. So the answer is down KD. Then we have number 12. Information in the table below is obtained from industrial process which produce R in the equation. So P gas plus Q gas give R. Which of the following statement is true about the production of R? Okay, so number one, if you look at, uh, if you notice carefully, uh, as the pressure increase, percentage of the R, which is the yield, also increase. So in another word, R has less total mole of gas. So that is why it is increasing. In terms of temperature, as the temperature increase, percentage of R decrease. So in another word, forward reaction in this case is exothermic. So that is why the yield decrease. Okay, so number one, it occurs with a decrease in volume, which is true. It is an exothermic process, which is also true. It increases with the addition of platinum catalyst, which is wrong because catalyst does not influence the amount of the yield form. And increasing pressure shifts equilibrium more to the right, which is also true. So the answer is one, two, and four only. Okay, okay so that is for number 12. Then we have number 13. The graph below shows the variations of the concentration of gas XYZ at T degrees Celsius for the reaction, which is the following statement is true about the reaction above. So if you notice carefully, X and Y decrease with time, then Z increase with time because Z is the product. And then uh, reaches equilibrium at the fifth minute. However, at the seventh minute, concentration of the X and Y both increases, okay? So as X and Y increases, equilibrium shift to the right. So when equilibrium shift to the right, therefore, at the seventh minute onward, you can see that Z increase while X and Y decreases until the new equilibrium is re-established. So which of the following is true? A, equilibrium constant can be calculated at seven minutes, which is wrong because that is the minutes where the equilibrium is disturbed, so it cannot be calculated. Equilibrium constant at fifth minute is the same at the 10 minute, which is true because uh, changes of the concentration will not change uh, equilibrium constant Kc. So the change of the concentration XYZ at the 10 minute are due to the increase of the pressure of the system, which is not true because at 10 minute, the equilibrium is achieved. And finally, the changes in the concentration of XYZ at the seven to 10 minute are due to the increase in temperature, which is wrong. As you can see in here, uh, what changes in here is the concentration of X and Y in here. So that is why it is increasing. So the best answer in here is B, boy. Number 14, at 2.0 decimeter cube, uh, stoppered flask at T degrees Celsius contains 0 0.5 mole of SO2, 0 0.10 mole of O2, and 4.6 mole of SO3. Calculate the KC of the following system. So all you have to do is just express KC, uh, SO3 square over SO2 square times O2. So KC is equal to 4.6 because they give you in terms of mole. Huh? So you have to change it to concentration. So 4.6 divided by 2, 0 0.50 divided by 2 square, multiply by 0 0.010 square. So at the end of the calculator, you get 1.7 times 10 power of 4 decimeter cube per mole. So the answer is donkey D. As for number 15, graph below shows the effect of temperature on the equilibrium constant Kp for the reactions. So as you can see now, we have to be very, very careful because the tricky part here is 1 over t. Yeah? It's 1 over t. So 1 over t means that it is inversely. So when Kp decrease as 1 over t increase, so in another word, Kp increase as temperature increase. So this one, you have to be very sure on what are the tricky parts in here. Okay, so when Kp increase as temperature increase, this will indicate that the forward reaction is an endothermic reaction. Okay, so which of the following uh, equation uh, conclusion can be drawn uh, from the graph? Number one, as I mentioned, Jantau, forward reaction is endothermic, which is true. 
Okay, so at high pressure, the amount of the Z equilibrium decreased. So, uh, which is wrong because uh, as the pressure increased, equilibrium shift to the direction with less total mole of gas. Since right side has the less total mole of gas, so uh, Z, which is the right side, will increase. So, number two is wrong. And then number three, higher temperature, amount of Z will increase. As we mentioned just now, since the forward reaction is endothermic, increasing temperature will equilibrium, cause equilibrium shift to the right, therefore increase the concentration of Z. And finally, adding nickel as a catalyst will not affect the position of equilibrium, which is also true. So the answer in here is one, three, and four. So this is how you are going to explain for number 15. As for number 16, hydrogen iodine vapor are mixed as 425. Which of the concentration in mole per decimeter cube of hydrogen iodine and hydrogen iodide at equilibrium? So this one, you have no choice but to calculate one by one at each of the KC in here. So since uh, H2 times plus I2 give 2 HI, KC is equals to HI squared divided by H2 times I2. So if you calculate one by one, eventually you will get that the, the suitable KC in here, which is 57.7 is when hydrogen is 0 0.03, iodine is 0 0.02, the hydrogen iodide is 0 0.186 in here. So if you want, you can try out all A, B, C, D to see whether the answer is true or not. This one, uh, to be honest, there is uh, the calculation can be get quite complicated because they are made from the different mixture in here. So you have no choice but to calculate one by one with A, B, C, D. Okay, so that is how you solve it for question number 16. Question number 17, graph below shows the variation in the concentration of product are compound P and Q against the time for the reversible reaction. So as P and Q increase, so at the time here, they you get a constant. So which statement about the reaction is or are true? Number one, concentration of P and Q are the same at time T, which is correct because they are the same huh, at this moment. Number two, the reaction stop at time T, which is not true. The reaction is still ongoing, but at the concentration is constant, okay? So number three, the entropy change of the reaction is negative. So in here, uh, there is no says that uh, entropy change is endo or exo because um, changes in the concentration will not be influenced by the entropy change. Uh, okay. And finally, rate of the forward reaction is the same with the rate of backward reaction, which is true because uh, this is where the system has achieved equilibrium. So uh, the answer is one and three correct, one and four correct, sorry. Okay, so that is for number 17. As for number 18, equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction between ethanol and ethanoic acid to form ethyl ethanoid and water is 4.0 at 25 degrees Celsius. If one decimeter cube of aqueous solution containing 92 gram of ethanol, 120 gram of ethanoic acid and left equilibrium until it's achieved equilibrium, what is the mass of ethanol left? So in here, you have to do a little calculation. So uh, first calculate the concentration um, a concentration of the ethanol. So you get 92.0 divided by 46, which is the RFM, then divided by 1.0. Okay, so you get 2.0 mole per decimeter cube. So C2H5 plus CH3COH gives CH3COC2H5 plus H2O. Now, in this case, you have to consider water. Huh? So uh, this is a little bit un, um, this is a little bit special uh, for the case of the esterification because in esterification the concentration of the water produced is little so in this case you must count the concentration of the water okay so that is why when expressing the kc of the system water must be included inside your kc so please bear this in mind huh? Okay, so let number of mole of ethanol has the reactant is x, so x squared divided by 2 minus x times 2 minus x is 4.0. So after calculation, eventually you get your x is equals to 1.33. So mass of C2H5OH left is equals to 2 minus 1.33 multiplied by 60, 46, so you get 30.7 gram. So generally, uh, that is how you are going to tackle for number 18. Now, number 19, which reaction is the value of Kc equals to the value of Kp? So you have to use the expression Kp, uh, Kc equals to Kp uh, time uh, Rt delta n. So uh, when will Kc equals to Kp is when delta n equals to zero. So delta n is equals to zero when you have the total mole of gas at the left side is equals to total mole of gas at the right side. So let's have a look together which one has both on the same side. So in here, A, left has one, right has two, which is wrong. In B, left has one, right has two, which is also wrong. Now carbon can uh, carbon solid cannot be considered in this case. Huh? Then C, you have one gas and two gas. So C is wrong. 
Then for D, you have four guess and four guess, which is true. So the best answer in here is donkey D. So this is number 19. Then number 20, a mixture of 0 0.60 mole of carboxylic acid, 0 0.50 mole of alcohol, and 0 0.60 mole of ester, and 0 0.40 mole of water, a total volume of B decimeter cube reflux in the presence of hydrochloric acid. So at equilibrium, 0 0.40 of X remain. What is the numerical value of the KC? So uh, at the end of the day, you get X plus Y gives Z plus H2O. So H2O in this case, you have to consider. So 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.4. So minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.2. Here will be plus 0 0.2, plus 0 0.2 because psychometrically all are 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. Huh? So easy to calculate. And then at equilibrium, you have X equals to 0 0.40, Y equals to 0 0.30, uh, Z is equal to 0 0.8, and water is 0 0.6. So substitute inside in KC, and then you get in KC is equals to 4.0, okay? Okay, so that is for number 20. As for number 21, and, uh, an equilibrium system is subjected to the following changes separately. Number one, decreased pressure at a constant temperature and increased temperature at a constant pressure. The system equilibrium of the system which the reactant increase when the subjected above changes are what? So in here, you want to product increase, in, therefore equilibrium must shift to the right. So let's start from the temperature, which is the most direct. So uh, increasing the temperature means that your forward reaction must be endothermic. So A and B automatically out, okay? And then for number two, decreasing pressure. If you want decreased pressure to cause equilibrium shift to the right, that means right side must have more total mole of gas. So since in C, uh, both sides has the same total mole of gas, so C is out. Whereas for D, left side has zero, right side has one total mole of gas. So uh, the answer is D, don't D. So that is for 21. Then for 22, a reversible reaction at a certain temperature can be represented by the following equation, A gas plus B gas gives C. So delta H is negative. Huh? Which statement about the reaction is or are true when the temperature increase? Number one, the increase of the value of K minus one is more than the K one. Uh, in this case, uh, because uh, as the equi temperature increase, equilibrium shift to the left. So when equilibrium shift to the left, therefore K will decrease. So K will, K will decrease, therefore indicates that K minus one is greater than K one in this case. Uh. So one true, two also true, and four also true, okay? So uh, in here, KC and KP are the same, which is not true because uh, both side has different total mole of gas, okay? So the best answer in here is boy B. Then we have 23. A mixture of nitrogen and hydrogen gases in the mole ratio one to three is allowed to react until equilibrium established. At equilibrium, 50% of nitrogen has reacted. If the pressure of the gas is 1.0 at equilibrium, what is the KP of the system in here? So in here, uh, you have to use the ratio of nitrogen to hydrogen is one to three. Lah. So uh, it says in here that 0 0.5 is reacted. So amount of hydrogen reacted is three times 0 0.5, you get 1.5. Amount of ammonia form is two times 0 0.5, you get 1.0. So at equilibrium, you have nitrogen 0 0.5, hydrogen 1.5, ammonia 1.0. So total mole is equal to 3.0. So you calculate the partial pressure of ammonia, nitrogen, hydrogen respectively. So you get 0 0.1667, 0 0.0333, and then 0 0.50 respectively. Substitute inside your KP, where KP is equal to partial pressure of NH3 square over partial pressure of N2 times partial pressure of H2 cube. So when you substitute 0 0.33, square divided by 0 0.1667 uh, multiplied by 0 0.500 cube. So you get your KP is equals to 5.3 atmosphere minus 2. So answer is C. Yeah? Sorry for the too long line here. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to squeeze it a bit. Okay, so there you go. Part of B for the mistakes. Yeah? Okay, so that is for uh, C. Yeah? 23, sorry, that is for number 23. Then you have 24, equilibrium constant Kp for the reaction N2 plus O2 give to NO varies with the temperature shows in here. Now, again, this is another tricky question because you have one over T in here, so you have to be extra careful. Huh? Number one, which of the statements is true about the reaction above? Number one, forward reaction is endothermic. So since when K over Kp decreases with one over T, that means Kp increase as temperature increase. So forward reaction is endothermic, which is correct. So if equilibrium shifts to the right, so NO increase, which number two is strong, while the uh, 
Number three is, uh, and then in here, percentage of NO increase when the pressure increase because uh, both side has equal number of mole of gas. So the percentage of NO will not change uh, in this case. Uh, okay. So remain constant. So adding SO3 under uh, constant pressure will not affect which is wrong. Huh? Increases the pressure increase, which is wrong, not true. Adding SO3 under constant pressure. Hold on for a while. Huh? Okay, so uh, in here you have, can see that only one is correct. Uh, sorry, uh, so uh, in there, uh, in this case, there are no answer in here because two, three, and four are all wrong. Uh. Okay, so uh, that is why the answer in here is one only correct. Sorry for that. Okay, okay, then we go to twenty five. The conversion of coal uh, to combustible gases is represented by the following equation: C solid plus H two O gas gives C O gas plus H two gas. So delta H is positive one three one kilojoule. So that means for a reaction is endothermic. Ah. A. Uh, when the temperature of the reaction is increased, so what will happen? A. Will the K C decrease, which is wrong because increasing temperature will cause equilibrium to shift to the endothermic reaction. Since equilibrium, uh, since for reaction is endothermic, therefore equilibrium shift to the right. So K C supposedly increases. Ah, so A is wrong. The value of K C and K B are the same, which is also wrong because. Uh, right side has two gas, left side only has one gas, so B is also wrong. So the pressure of the system will increase, yes, because it produces small gases, so the pressure will increase. And the value, the increase in the value of K1 will be greater than K minus 1 is wrong. Okay, so uh, the best answer in here is C. Okay, C. Okay, so uh, the best answer in here is C. Yeah? Okay, so that is for 25. Then 26, nitrogen dioxide, NO2 is a brown gas. Dinitrogen tetraoxide is a colorless gas. An equilibrium established between the equilibrium NO2 and N2O4 is expressed in the equation here. So delta H is positive. Huh? Which role describes the effect of changing condition on the color of the equilibrium when N2, NO2 and N2O4 uh, changes so increasing pressure so when you increase pressure equilibrium will shift to the direction with less total mole of gas so since n204 has less total mole of gas therefore right left side has less total mole of gas so equilibrium will shift to the left so when equilibrium shift to the left color become lighter okay so color become lighter answer could be c and d and then finally increasing temperature increasing temperature will cause equilibrium to shift the direction with endothermic process which is shift to the right therefore color become darker so in here the best answer is c okay 37 hydrogen and carbon dioxide gases are mixed at 800 kelvin A reversible reaction take place at equilibrium the partial pressure of h2 and co2 are 10 kilopascal uh, are both 10 kilopascal, Kp is 0 0.288 at 800 Kelvin. What is the partial pressure of CO at the equilibrium established? So you have to use the uh, equation, Kp is equals to partial pressure of H2O and partial pressure of CO divided by pH2 plus CO2. So in here, the X, uh, H2O and CO share the same concentration. So you can put X and X. So eventually you will get your X is equals to 16, 18.6, uh, 16.8, 18 18.6. Sorry, yeah, typing error. Okay, so you can do the calculation. Okay, okay, so uh, the answer is boy B. Number 28, a reaction involved the contact process is shown below. 2SO2 plus O2 give 2SO3. So the reaction investigated at 200 kilopascal at 700 Kelvin at the value of the equilibrium constant Kp is found to be Y. So the equilibrium, the reaction is then investigated at 1000 kilopascal at 700 Kelvin and the Kp value found to be Z. Which statement between Y and Z is correct? So number, uh, as you can see in here, this process is an, an uh, exothermic. So when you have the uh, temperature increase, equilibrium shift to the left. Then when pressure increase, equilibrium shift to the right. Okay, however, uh, Kp will not influence by the pressure. Okay? okay, so Y and Z are the same, which is not correct, uh, which is uh, correct because they are under the same temperature. 
Y and Z are the correct because they are at the same temperature. And then, uh, therefore, the best answer in here is A. Okay. Okay, 29. In this question, you should assume that all gas behave ideally. Hydrogen and iodine react reversibly in this equilibrium. So the system reaches dynamic equilibrium. H2 plus I2 give 2 HI. Delta H is negative 9.5 kilojoule per mole. Which statement must be true for the KP of this system to be constant? Number one, partial pressure of H2, I2, and HI are equal, which is wrong. Huh? It should be said constant, not equal. Okay. B. External pressure is constant, which is wrong. Forward and reverse reaction has stopped, which is also wrong. Temperature is constant, yes. So because temperature constant, no matter how you alter the situation, KC and KP will remain the same, okay? Okay, number 30, nitrogen and hydrogen can react to form ammonia. So uh, this is the equation, N2 plus 3H2 gives 2 NH3, delta H is negative 92 kilojoule per mole. Rate and yield of the reaction can be altered by changing condition under which reaction is carried out. Which row show the effect of adding iron to the mixture and increase the temperature? So adding iron or adding catalyst, uh, especially solid catalyst, uh, will not influence the position of equilibrium. So therefore, answer uh, A is correct. And then increasing temperature, will reduce, uh, will cause equilibrium shift to the endothermic, which is backward reaction, therefore decreasing the yield. Okay, so uh, the best answer here is A. A, A, no, A. Okay. Okay, so with that, that is all for the 30 objective question that I can discuss with you. So stay tuned for my next video because we will go to discuss, we are going to discuss the uh, structure and essay questions. Huh? So if there's nothing else, so I guess that is all for the lesson for right now. So I see you all later. Okay, see you around. Bye.